Andy Stanley, Visioneering, God's Blueprint for Developing and Maintaining Personal Vision. Are you ready to embark on an inspiring journey to discover your own personal vision and connect it with God's plan? In Visioneering, Andy Stanley presents a compelling approach to guide you through this transformative experience. Begin by exploring how the elements of passion, motivation, direction, and purpose intertwine to pave the way for visioneering in your life. Dive into the world of visioneers, individuals who have heard, read, or seen something that generates a deep concern, leading them to discover a purpose ordained by God. Learn how to persevere and maintain faith in your vision, even in the face of obstacles, and discover the power of vision casting to inspire others to join your cause. Throughout this journey, remember that your vision is part of God's divine plan, and it's crucial to keep it as your guiding force. Visioneering, how to find purpose in life. Life is more meaningful when we have a clear vision of our future that aligns with God's plan. This is what visioneering is all about. It is a journey that combines inspiration, conviction, action, determination, and completion. Living a visioneering life means bringing passion, motivation, direction, and purpose to every aspect of life. By discerning our vision, a concern that we simply can't ignore, we are able to contribute to the completion of Christ's vision. A true vision feels like a moral imperative, connects to what's happening in the world, and matures before we take action. By living a visioneering life, we can live a purposeful and fulfilling life. Pursue with faith. Success is not only about achieving financial gain or recognition, but staying on the path, pursuing the vision, and pushing through hardships. Having faith that things will work out is vital, even when we don't know how. Chris, a student at Dunwoody High School, dreamed of sharing the gospel with every student in his school. Despite facing obstacles, he continued to trust God and took advantage of every opportunity to talk to people. As a result, he befriended Mark, a troubled student, who later spoke about Jesus to the entire student body. It all began with Chris pursuing his vision and having faith in God's plan. Vision Casting for Success Are you ready to turn your vision into reality? In Visioneering, the concept of vision casting is introduced as the first step. Author Andy Stanley suggests that a clear and compelling vision can move individuals, groups, and even nations towards greatness. To effectively cast your vision, it's crucial to have a well-defined problem, a solution, a reason for taking action, and a sense of urgency. But it's not enough to simply believe in your vision, you must articulate it with passion and conviction to inspire those around you. Remember that even the smallest contribution to the plan is part of a bigger design, and it's our responsibility to act upon our calling. Vision casting has the potential to change lives and start powerful movements. Parents, in particular, are encouraged to share their vision with their children as a crucial way to instill purpose and inspire their faith. So what are you waiting for? Start vision casting and make a difference in the world today. Commit to your vision. To successfully achieve a vision, one must commit to it regardless of the obstacles, including financial sacrifices and criticism. Prayer is key in reminding us that our vision is tied to God's purpose, and flexibility may be necessary in fulfilling it. Visionaries are those who commit to their visions before having the necessary resources. However, criticism and financial sacrifices can test one's resolve. To reach a goal, one must put in 100% effort and be willing to make personal financial sacrifices. Critics who doubt the feasibility or worthiness of your vision can be discouraging, leading some to give up or take out their frustration on loved ones. However, prayer can serve as a reminder of the divine purpose behind our vision. It's essential to understand that our plan is just one way of achieving God's mission, and flexibility and adjustment might be necessary. For instance, setting up a clinic in another country may seem unattainable initially. But getting a job at a clinic at home may provide the necessary experience and connections to fulfill God's plan. In conclusion, committing to a vision requires unwavering dedication, financial sacrifices, and handling criticism from skeptics. But by trusting in God's purpose, 
being flexible, and having faith, we can successfully fulfill our missions and glorify God. Vision is nothing without unity. Successful visions require the commitment of all parties involved, and without a united team, they are bound to fail. The key message is to address behaviors that hinder the vision and lead with moral authority, which takes character and time to build and can be easily lost. In life, teamwork is essential to achieve success. Even if you have the best plan, it can be derailed by crises or team members who lose focus. The key message in this book summary is, without unity of purpose, visions cannot survive. This applies to both small-scale and big-scale visions. The success of the vision depends on the commitment of everyone involved. Sometimes, a team member may begin to behave in a negative manner and hinder the plans. In such cases, addressing the situation immediately is important. Effective leadership is not about controlling but leading with moral authority. People respond to individuals who have inner conviction and stay rooted in their beliefs. Moral authority takes character, sacrifice, and time to build and can be easily lost. The importance of maintaining moral authority is emphasized with an example of a youth pastor who lost it due to one slip. A leader must hold on to their integrity and not take shortcuts. They should also speak to the team members directly and not behind their backs. In conclusion, the success of a vision is closely tied to the commitment and unity of purpose among the team members. Therefore, leaders should prioritize addressing any behavior that hinders the vision and lead with moral authority to maintain the team's spirit. Overcoming distractions to fulfill your vision. When it comes to fulfilling God's plan, distractions are abundant. This article examines three broad categories of distractions, opportunities, criticism, and fear and how to avoid them. By keeping your vision at the forefront of your mind, you can overcome distractions and live a life rich in purpose, peace, healthy relationships, and character. Having journeyed through the world of visioneering, you now possess crucial insights and practical advice to propel you forward on your path. With newfound understanding of the values of passion, motivation, direction, and purpose, you can harness the power of your vision, inspired by heartbreaking concerns, and align it with God's purpose. Embrace vision casting, working as a team, and staying faithful to your beliefs as you navigate the complexities of life. Always keep in mind that your vision is where the glorification of God lies, as it plays a fundamental role in the grand design. By following the principles laid out in visioneering, you are equipped to make impactful strides towards fulfilling your God-given vision while remaining resilient in the face of challenges and distractions.